Hello everyone, today I am talking about olive oil in detail. Now we have been talking about do this, do that, eat olive oil all the time and we never really dig into it or dove deeper into it. And today we are going to talk about the benefits of olive oil. I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes expert, and a diabetes educator. So, are you ready? Let's get started. Alright guys, so basically, you can put olive oil into everything, but what type of olive oil you're using matters. Extra virgin olive oil is the way to go, because the least processed, the less processed it is, the more antioxidants, the more anti-inflammation will be within that olive oil. So what you can do with this, you can basically put on any salad or any even food. Anytime you feel like, oh, that food doesn't taste good, you want some, some fat on your food, put olive oil on it. There's really no harm unless you are using too much of it. I wouldn't use olive oil more than four or five tablespoons a day but cooking with olive oil without using high heat because that destroys the antioxidant features but adding olive oil to your food definitely will help will give you tremendous benefits let's talk about olive oil helps diabetes duh it's a diabetes channel right so uh, it helps diabetes there is a substance in olive oil it's called olropin and that substance directly tells your pancreas, the beta cells, to make insulin. Wait a minute! You're gonna be like, uh, wait a minute, I thought the uh, carbohydrates are the one that causes the insulin release, right? I don't know. Not only carbohydrates, proteins and fats actually can induce insulin production as well, but uh, we don't necessarily talk about them as much because carbohydrates are the primary driver. But definitely olive oil will help, will ease the insulin production in your beta cells. On the other hand, the saturated fatty acids or the trans fatty acids that, that comes in the saturated fats that comes from animal uh, products or the trans fatty acids that come from baked goods most of the time definitely are the killer for the beta cells that disables beta cells to make any type of insulin. Oh, hell no! So, another benefit of olive oil is the cardiovascular protection. Now, olive oil will protect you from a heart disease. How? It is a monounsaturated fatty acid. When you replace your saturated fatty acids with the monounsaturated fatty acids, in this case the olive oil, you are getting tremendous benefit. Number one, your LDL will go down drastically. If you are looking for a food item that can help reduce your bad cholesterol, use olive oil. It will also increase your HDL. So as a result, all around, a good fat for your heart. Hey, that's pretty good. Also, like you can imagine, the dementia and Alzheimer's disease is actually very common among diabetics. Uh, again, that's because of, of the oxidative damage and there is this tau protein, TAU protein accumulation happens in Alzheimer's uh, and in, in some dementia types as well. And olive oil actually prevents that. Now, if you go to these blue zones, we call them like people live in there like 90, 100, 110, and they are still very sharp. And when you look at what they're consuming as a fat source, olive oil. Olive oil is on everything. And to be honest with you, I, I do that myself. I try to put olive oil even on my, if I'm eating steak, just to negate the effect of the steak. I'm like, oh, I don't want to have the saturated fat, but I'm going to put some, I'm going to get a very lean cut of steak, and I'm going to put some olive oil instead of getting like a New York strip. I'll order a flaminion maybe, and then I'll put some olive oil. There you go. At least your dish is now healthier. Nice. Yeah, when you combine olive oil with rosemary, for example, that's a great dressing on any type of meat. Now, if you're having joint pains and aching, hurting all around your body, I have good news for you too. 
there is a substance in olive oil, it's called oleocanthal, that is not much different than actually ibuprofen. What? Yeah, you heard me right. So the substances in olive oil are anti-inflammatory and uh, analgesic, which means that it, it just helps your pain. So if you want to get rid of this achiness, joint pains, get rid of the saturated fat, get rid of the trans fat, and include olive oil as the primary fat. Damn! Avocado is also great, but the olive oil should be primary fat in your diet. Well, I'm not telling the olive oil will cure your diabetes, but it's going to help a whole lot of things, guys. So, uh, you try it, you let me know what you think. Please write a comment, please give a thumbs up and share this video. And thank you for your help, we appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.